This is Andrew Davis with the Center for Writing and Rhetoric. This video series will walk you through the process of creating a Google site, which you will use for your ePortfolio project this semester. In this video, we'll talk about creating a Google account. If you already have a Gmail account, you can skip this step. If you don't have a Gmail account, keep watching. First step, you're going to open your favorite web browser. I'm using Mozilla Firefox, but you can use whatever browser that you prefer for this step. I'm going to type in the URL sites.google.com. On the right side of the screen, you'll see a link called Sign Up for Sites. Click that link. On the next screen, you're going to click Gmail to sign up a new Gmail account address. On the screen that follows, please fill out all of the required fields. We recommend using the name you go by in class so your instructor will know who you are when you share your portfolio with him or her. You'll need to choose a login name. There are a lot of Google account users, so it's unlikely that something like Andrew at gmail.com will be available. Type in the username and check the availability. Google will provide suggestions for accounts that are available. I'm going to choose the second option, AD067079. Then you're going to want to create a strong password. Now, be sure that you write down your username and your password somewhere that you won't lose. That way, if for some reason you forget your login information, you'll have it on hand. You're going to want to ask a security question. My first grade teacher was Mrs. Lottie. Now, for recovery email, we recommend you putting in your Ole Miss webmail account. This is used not only to verify your Gmail account, but to provide a way for you to reset your password should for you be locked out of your Gmail account for some reason. You're located in the United States. You're going to put in your birthday. And then you're going to enter the CAPTCHA below for security. You're going to skim the terms and conditions. Once you skim those, go ahead and click I accept to create an account. You're going to want to sign in with your new account name and the password that you just created for it. And that will bring you to this page where you can go to create your Google site. The next video in this series will show you how to set up a Google site and how to share it with your instructor. If you have any questions about this tutorial, feel free to contact us at CWR at allmiss.edu.